Okay, I think we're ready to go. Uh, isn't Mac Jab lovely? Seriously, there's just so many interesting little uh, majikis. Anyway, despite I don't need to do it, but I've already throttled up and the SAS is on. So I'm just going to launch this in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, 1. Uh, 1. Helps if you hit the right button. Wow, I was actually pushing the enter button for some strange reason. Now anyway, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Um, yeah, we're using the Ascent Autopilot with this one. It's going to stop at stage uh, 6, which might not be right. No, 6 is right. Yeah, 6 is the third stage. It's going to start its turn at 30 kilometers and end the turn at 90 kilometers with the ascent path there. We don't need that open, actually. Um, hopefully this is... Uh, I have no idea how efficient this is at all. I don't really go for that. I just go for what looks cool. That's the way to do it, right? Right, right. <laughs> there we go. See, I didn't do anything with that. Brilliant. It wasn't anything to do with me. We're a lot lighter now. I'm just leaving these stats up. If anyone wants to tell me I'm a hack or something. Not that I hack, but that I am a hack. Different terminology. You know, like, I suck. Yeah. <laughs> So he doesn't like this. This particular vehicle and its uh, predecessor are why there is a lot of debris around here. <laughs> I was trying to launch it. it. It took ages. The orbital vehicle has engines from the Cosmos pack, which are they're run by MechJeb. So they 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 use Mech, they use MechJeb's um, engine control system where you can deactivate and activate engines. So I've got prograde and retrograde engines, and they run on RCS fuel. But their their mass they're two Kerbal mass units each, which I didn't realize at the time because they are so tiny. They're tiny, but they're two Kerbal mass units each. So I've got four on the back, four on the front. Yeah it's a lot heavier than it looks and I'm just and I'm, I'm trying to launch it on my tried and true tested rocket here and it's like why isn't this working and I was very confused and, I, and um, yeah I did edit the weight because I thought it was bloody ridiculous being that heavy compared to all the other parts I've got here you know also yeah those are other parts that I've kind of taken from the cosmos pack I will do a video on the cosmos pack I have it installed entirely on a uh, another uh, version of the game. It's very interesting. I've yet to actually successfully launch anything. I mean, it's all balanced relatively well with itself, but uh, with other things, not so. Bloody beautiful parts, though. Bloody beautiful. And the fuel is about to run out on our second stage. Mechjeb uh, doesn't really like doing sort of like staging of fairings and stuff like that. So uh, when uh, the sixth stage comes, that's the third stage engine, basically. Yeah, gets a little confusing, which will be soon. Here it comes. It bucks back a little bit, and then I just release that manually like that. What are we looking at? All right, we're at a hundred kilometers now. We're just bringing that periaps up. As you can see if you can actually see this on the screen the periaps has just just gone into the positive numbers it's at 100 kilometers now kind of beautiful and as you can see we only needed ever so much of a tiny little drop more of that second tank wow look at that so now we don't need the Ascent Autopilot, actually. We should have taken it off what happened. The Ascent Autopilot, because we got stats open, that's why. Okay, so let's turn on the smart ass. Alright, hit this thing to prograde. Here's a little thing that, um, I think I may have buggered up a config file or something, but, uh, alright, let's release. And here's my orbiter. 
Let's go into the orbital, orbital camera because I prefer this one. Here's the uh, retrograde engines on the front from the Cosmos pack and the uh, prograde engines on the back here. There's lots of RCS. This is enough fuel to do a couple of laps of transferring from Kerbin to the moon. It's actually pretty good. Quite pleased with it. I think the capsule is from the Odin OTV pack. Uh, I really like it. It's very detailed. Yeah. Uh, do we have the wobble? Yeah. Don't know whether it's going to pick it up, but there's an ever so slight wobble in everything. Like it's all just jittery. I'm not sure. Ever since I reinstalled the newer version, well, I installed a newer version of MechJep, it jitters slightly. I think uh, I need to update my kind of uh, modified version of MechJeb here. Probably something in the configs. Ah, here we go. <laughs> now that the engines are turned on. And you get this engine control box up here when they're active. So, I can unselect it and the back ones turn off. I can select the retrograde ones and then when I throttle up, these front ones will fire. See that? I want to select the back. The back ones will fire. Brilliant. And they just run on RCS, as you can see, by all the RCS tanks starting to drain. There's a lot of fuel in this thing. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this. It's uh, it's pretty fun. It's a fun little orbiter. I'm actually going to land it just for a bit, of, uh, just to show off the retrograde engines. Yeah. Of course, uh, you don't want that thing smacking into your ass. And we're just going to burn this down to. Uh, 30 kilometers. There we go. There we go. 30.070 something. Cool. And I'm going to speed up time here. I'll probably cut this out or something. Alright, so we're coming in pretty hard now. So, first of all, let's get rid of that part. We And let's get rid of that part. <laughs> oh, I love getting rid of lots of lots of parts. And we're a little bit shaky, so put on that. Yeah. It's good to uh, make sure that any anything with a mech jeb on deorbits, otherwise that will kind of appear as a an actual module, command module, if it's uh, if it's stuck in space. Um, that's it for this video. Um, ah, a couple more things. A couple more things before I go. Challenges. I received two challenges that uh, put a satellite, or not satellite, a large space station in orbit around the moon, and also a satellite at geo or keo synchronous orbit with Kerbin. Uh, yes, I'm going to get around to those. I will probably have a go at least one this weekend. If I get a chance, I should have. Yeah, my Saturday's free. Um, what else? If you have any other further challenges, please just post them in the comments. Uh, remember to actually kind of um, link them to my name, otherwise I might not see them um, come up in the old comments box. There's our parachute deploying for safe landing at 7.28 uh, 7 meters per second. And they don't seem very happy about landing so safely. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, what else? Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. In the description of this video, I'm going to be putting a link to Mediafire or something like that with a download, and it's going to have a notepad document, and it's going to list every single mod I have, and underneath it, a link to where I got it from. So, there we go. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be a help to you. End flight. Vehicle assembly building. Yeah, that went really nicely, actually. Yeah, I think we're going to save that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, the main packs are Nova Punch, uh, KW Challenger Pack, um, Silisco Edition, but we got a, and C7 Aerospace, of course. But we got a lot of other kind of other smaller packs and other smaller parts which haven't been updated in millions of years, such as, if I can find an example, come to me example, here, here's a good one, here's a good example, this thing, actually, new, 
we'll just grab this just as an example. Yeah, this is the older style launch escape tower. This is by Moach, I think. And this is a decoupler, it goes on like that. And then back here, you've got a solid rocket booster. And you know, if you don't know what a launch escape tower does, if there's an emergency during the initial stages of the rocket, the module can you decouple the module or the command module from the rocket, and it launches the tower, launches you away from the rocket, and you escape death. <laughs> Hence the name launch or less les as it's known. The uh, more common one to see is this one, which is half. It's half a one, and it comes with its own decoupler here. This is uh, this is a little more easy to use because you can actually attach it. Where am I going? You can attach it to, if you find a parachute that has a double node, I kind of prefer them sometimes. Where are you? Now here's, here's one. This will do. If you have a parachute that has an extra node on, like that. And you need two of these, and like that. And there we go. And it doesn't look as neat, but it works a little better, ever so slightly. So, and that one, this one here, actually comes from, the, it's in the Nova pack, Nova Punch, uh, Nova Punch pack. Oh god, all these names, huh? Whereas the old one hasn't been updated for a long time, and it's kind of like you have to go back to like page 15 on the forums to find it. But, eh. It also comes with uh, this rather dashing heat shield, which I often use just to plug up things. Haha, <laughs> isn't that sweet? Another pack that I really don't mention often, despite how cool it is. Another one that hasn't been updated. I can never even remember what the actual pack is called, but where is the parts? They are... Uh, where are you? Come on. Ah, here you go. Basically, screw parachute landings. I've got a solid rocket booster. Or, screw parachute landings. I've got a landing liquid engine. Look at that. And... I've landed with that. It's so much fun. It's, you know, it adds a little extra level of uh, an extra level of majig, e, <laughs> majiggy, an extra level of um, you know, just a different gameplay, really. You know, so you don't have to. Because sometimes it gets to the point where you come back into war, but the parachute's out. Just watch it. You know, nah. This, this is, this is, you know, you're on the controls all the way, right angle get there, slow yourself down properly, everything. And I've got a few other parts, like if you notice I've got two Mark 7 payload assist modules. This is from the Nova Solist Nova Punch Pack. And it is a it's a solar rocket booster. However, my other one I've got here is just a liquid fuel tank. Because I use it for one of my very small orbiters and I have this called the invisible engine. This was made for me. Just tabs on the end there, and that just makes. I call this the hockey puck engine because it looks like a little hockey punk, hockey puck. It's got no real texture. It's kind of just black, blacked it out a bit. And that was made by 707 Engineering. Nice chap. You know, catch him in the shout box on the KSP forum. Just say hello. He's a nice chap. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, and these are the tiny little engines I took from. Uh, the what you call it pack technical term that what you call it pack is that different huh why is that listed uh, I guess I have to invert it ah uh, yeah okay never mind I'm just being silly but yeah these are these tiny little engines which I friggin love they're lovely those, uh, these are the Cosmos pack engines that run on RCS. You have to invert them a little bit there. And they're quite handy. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. Have a lovely day. Uh, I'm going to go do things. Uh, should have some more videos up over the weekend. If you have any other suggestions of other games um, you think I might like, or you might want to see me play, um, yeah, go for it. I got Skyrim. I don't really play it too much, so if you want, I I think a lot of people are doing Skyrim right now or something still. So you know, whatever, it's up to you, man. Uh, yeah, 
comments. Um, I like I like to see your comments. I do read every single one. Um, sometimes I might be a little too busy to reply, but or I'll usually remember too. So please, um, yeah, have fun. Have a lovely day. It's goodbye from me and goodbye from the little vanilla cockpit module thing here. Bye!